So my electric bill was a little higher than normal this week. Four times higher. Certainly merits a question or two or three or four. Hey, hey, hey you, lady at the desk. Excuse me, my utility bill is a teensy bit higher than all my other bills combined. Can you tell me why that is? Okay, actually what I said was... Excuse me, I need to scream and yell at somebody about my bill, and I know that you probably make minimum wage, so can you please bring somebody out here who makes so much money at their job that they kind of deserve to be yelled at? Yeah, you're the big cheese around here, aren't you? Head honcho, main man. Yeah, see, I've got this bill for $428.62. Can you tell me why I owe Humbug Power and Water $428.62? Because I don't recall running all of my electrical appliances at the same time while filling several swimming pools from my kitchen sink. Why don't we just read the meter? The meter tells us what the number is that we should customer on the, on the bill, so I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, here's another one. One of the conditions of my remaining a customer of Humbug Power and Water at my current rate is not being a business. I mean, I have to remain a residential type of residence in order to keep my rate. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, I suppose you're right if you want to look at it that way. Okay, please don't kill me. Maybe I'm running an illegal gambling den with shark tanks and electric... Dance floors. That would mean I would be charged more. Your business would get more money. So maybe you should send somebody over to see why the ever-loving fuck my meter ran up $428.62. Maybe. We'll be there today. So HP and W came out to see what the problem was. They looked... For leaks, they looked for blowouts, they looked for flooding, all the usual stuff. I like to think that they also looked for shark tanks and dance floors, but probably not. Then they looked out on my back porch. The porch that I never use because it doesn't have a roof, and years of rain have made the wood as soft as a bouncy castle. Come to think of it, I haven't even been in my backyard since September, since the whole Shelly thing. The utility detectives find something rather interesting. Something green, hard to spot in the grass, which hasn't been mowed in several months, by the way. Something that would have been impossible to see back when this area had so much snow. Something that started at the electrical outlet under my back porch and ended somewhere inside next door Nate's. Now, this something was duct taped to a windowsill and went further inside the house. The window was painted shut, so I couldn't force it open. I tried, but I managed to reach my hand in and yank down those crappy plastic blinds. And you could see inside was their bedroom. They had a flat screen TV, a couple lamps, hot plate, phone charger, a computer... And a portable heater plugged into a surge protector. And leading from that surge protector, an extension cord. An extension cord. A cord of extending my electricity to their house. And look at that! My garden hose still hooked up to the spigot where I stupidly left it last fall. And muddy boot prints all around it. Gee, I wonder if this is how all that extra water went missing. Well, the utility detectives were unsurprisingly unhelpful. So I waited until Nate and Mrs. Nate came home for the night at around 11 p.m. And all four vehicles were parked on the front lawn. After giving them an hour to settle in... I crept up and waited underneath that bedroom window. Mrs. Nate was cooking something on the hot plate, bitching about how the blinds had fallen and bitching about how they were out of butane for her lighter. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I I never told them that they couldn't smoke in the house, I guess. But, (laughs) shit, that, uh, just keep getting more and more pissed off. Anyway, I waited until they were relaxed and they were settled, and then... I yanked the fucking plug. Lights went down. 
I pounded on the window until my hands blistered. They ran out of the room, and in the heat of the moment, I actually screamed, I know you're in there, come out with your hands up, because I watch entirely too many stupid, cheesy cop dramas. They apparently do, too, because they called the cops. The Humbug PD said, okay, everybody needs to be separated. Everybody's in states of agitation, okay? We just need to calm everything down and see what the problem is here. And I calmly explained what was going on from, you know, my point of view, the victim. And then they calmly explained what was going on from their point of view. You know, sneak thieves with their heads firmly planted up their own asses. You know, the point of view you get when you have your head firmly planted up your own ass. They said that when they rented the house, I neglected to inform them that the electrical box was fried and that the water pipes had frozen from the winter cold. Uh, what? Well, I never turned on any lights because I only visited during the daytime, but... And they said that I am a slumlord and that they are planning to sue. Uh, the, the, uh, this, what? But I can't kick them out. I, I, can't, I can't kick them out. See, I'm not even the technical property owner yet. Which means that I cannot boot them from property that I don't own. But I am considered the property leaser or whatever. Which means that if I let them freeze to death on property that they are paying me to use, I am responsible. So it all boils down to I have to let them keep sucking my electricity and water. The police insisted right after they told me what a horrible excuse for a human being I am by potentially harming an unborn baby and how they would love to arrest me for murder if she miscarries because of my actions. (sighs) They said if I pull the plug again, I'm going to jail. I'm kind of weighing whether or not it'd be worth it. Oh, and humbug power and water? God bless them, decided that, hey, remember that rant that you gave us earlier when you said that you could only be using that much electricity and water if you were running a business? (laughs) That was so funny. Well, guess what? You're now running a business by providing electricity to somebody else. Welcome to our business rates, which are way more expensive than our residential rates you were paying before. Fuck you, Nora. Why? Why? 